My PS4 says network unavailable. So check to see if the network is actually unavailable. The error is sometimes actually correct. I checked the system down checker and it is up. You can test your internet connection with the PlayStation 4. I know you do that by going to Network, Test Internet Connection. That screen will tell you if the system has an IP address, and it won't work if it does not. I've never even heard of that issue. You can check the NAT type, since NAT3 can slow down the connection so much that it fails to connect. I'm at NAT2. And I know NAT1 makes it wide open until the system is taken over. If you cannot connect to PSN, remember that the network you're on might not allow it. For example, a lot of dorms require your device to be added to their network to be allowed to connect to PSN. This is in my home, and I've always had access to it. Then check the ports you're using. For TCP, use 80, 443, 3479. If you have UDP, 3478 and 3479 are standard. I don't think that's the issue. Go to Settings, Network, Set up Internet Connection, Custom, and then change MTU to 1473. I know MTU is another TLA, three-letter acronym I don't know. What does it do? That's the maximum transmission unit or maximum packet size the system allows. I've heard of connections failing because the value was too high, but setting MTU to 1473 and saving it fixed things. The ideal is somewhere around 1500. Yes, which is why you want a unit not too much smaller than that. And then there's the fact that simply making a change to the configuration and saving it could essentially reboot your profile. That's akin to logging into PSN, changing your address and account info before changing it back and saving, so that the system recognizes you as you and your licensing. There's also the default solution of rebooting the console. If you can access PSN via the Internet Explorer on the system like logging into the PSN store, but it cannot see the network for gaming, you'll want to bring it up in safe mode and rebuild the database. If in doubt, reboot, and if that does not work, give it a digital lobotomy. You can try rebooting the router before you do the system rebuild. That would be faster, it just does not seem like it. You could always try logging in via a PC and see if the problem is not them but you. Banning does not look like the system's down, it just feels that way, 